I come from a village of night eaters. We're a long-lived people, much longer lived than ordinary humans by far. However, our reproductive abilities are spotty. We're rarely blessed with children, and our numbers are dwindling. Neighboring villages have forgotten we even exist. Most of us have simply accepted that as our fate, and gone on with our lives. <clears throat> but not Soga. He tried to rally the people of the village into actively pursuing some means of keeping the Night Eater legacy alive. Unfortunately for him, no one was interested. I think they'd all given up by that point. The last Night Eater to be born was Ren, and that was over 150 years ago. Well, <laughs> the jury's still out on the exact time frame there. Then, about two years ago, Soga disappeared. Rather suddenly at that, it's as if he decided his ruined kin were no longer worth his time, so he turned his back on us and left. Hold up. Are you seriously telling me Rin is over 150 years old? What does that make you, then? <laughs> My official age is 15, thank you very much. I was born about 20 years before Rin, I believe. Though, when you live as long as we do, you stop keeping track after a while. Yeah, my mind's kind of blown right now. I thought you were both young girl characters, but I guess you're actually older woman characters. Don't define people by their appearances. Mmm, back on topic. Do you know what this Soga person's doing in Akiba? Or why he's gotten involved with the Synthesters? We've been Synthester hunters since the very beginning. But we've had no Synthesters to hunt for at least the past hundred years. Because of that, most of us essentially stopped thinking about them and forgot what they were capable of. So, when the cursed things came crawling out here, I started wondering, could our missing brother have something to do with it? That's when I wrote that nasty letter to keep Shizuku away, then skipped town to find out. Causing me minor trauma in the process. Ugh. Regrettably, it seems Rin's intuition was right on the mark. Soga is the one pulling the strings here. Without question. So if we do something about him, that'll take care of the Synthesters too? That seems likely, yes. Big Brother's not the only one who's gotten himself caught up in this mess, though. Daishi Hunt Pharmaceuticals definitely has their nose in this, too. Not sure how deep they go, but still. Hmm. There are other questions as well. Such as, why is this only occurring in Akiba? And why have no other locations been targeted? That is a very good question. Maybe it is happening in other places. It could be. Well, if it is, nobody's talking about it on Pitter. I've only been seeing clips about monsters in Akiba. Well, how about that? A real secret society trying to pull some evil plan on Japan. Not Japan, just Akiba. The question remains, why has Soga come here? And why is this town the only place he's targeted? If we can answer these questions, we might be able to get to the heart of the matter. Well, either way, we've still got a long road ahead of us. Maybe now we know who the bad guy is, but that don't exactly solve the problem. Know what I mean? Remember, the streets of Akiba are still crawling with those damn Synthesters. Yeah, I agree. We can't rush things. We're freedom fighters. We've got a job to do, and we've got to do it right. Right? So, guess we better get back to patrolling, since there ain't too many other options. Good luck to everybody! Safe returns! Okay, sis, you're with me. I, uh, don't think that's a good idea. I mean, you're a celebrity. If you're walking around out there, you'll attract a crowd in no time. Uh, uh, that could be a problem. I think it would be best if you were to accompany me. We call Main Street, which means you two get Showa Street. Understood.
Synthesters. Are you ready? Huh? Whoa! These are the guys with the rewards on their heads! Which means if we take them both down, we get double the reward! Can't mess this up, then. Better take that medicine so we can kick their asses in one go. Medicine? Yahoo! This stuff right here gives you more energy than you know what to do with! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! We sure ain't gonna lose now! <laughs> this is the same as before. Don't let your guard down. These synthesters are out of control. They've abandoned what little reason they had. We pulled through, but those weren't like the others. They were far more violent. Just like Amo, the last time we faced him. Most likely the result of that drug they took before battle. But what was it? Hmm. <sighs> you don't look well. Your face is pale. Were you injured in the fight? I don't think it has anything to do with your stomach. That sound... Is that your phone? Yuto seems to have found something. We should head back to Mogra. Sorry to have called you back so suddenly, but I thought you should know about this as soon as possible. Take a look at this map. This is... a map of Akiba. But what are the points you placed on it? Those are the locations of all known Synthester incidents thus far. Wow, nice work. This is why you're the dependable one. Your brother never could have put that together. Oh, come on, I totally could have. Just because I don't always work hard, doesn't mean I can't. So, what did you find out? The incidents are all contained within a near-perfect circle around Akihabara Station. Every single attack has taken place within a 400 meter radius of that one spot. Oh, whoa, so what you're saying is... What are you saying exactly? Mm. Well, I'm still not entirely certain about anything, of course. But a distinct pattern like this may be the smoking gun that tells us why Akiba was targeted. Hmm, you got a point. If all that mattered was having lots of people around, they could have picked Shinjuku, or Ikebukuro, or hell, downtown Tokyo. Exactly. And if we can determine the reason Akiba was chosen, we might have an easier time figuring out how to put a stop to all this. 
Right. So what is it about Akiba that you can't find anywhere else? Mm, maids? Or fan comics, maybe? There's a lot around here you can't find anywhere else. That's all we have to go on. We're not much better off than before. Hmm. I received a mail from Ms. Kasuga. Oh? What about? Let's see. It says, Help! In alley near suit shop on Main Street. What? If Miss Kasuga is in trouble, we have to go save her. Hold it! How do we know this isn't a trap? Oh, I am so not on board with this. We should count on being attacked when we get there. But either way, we should go. Come on. Over here! Hurry! Ah, you must have gotten my email. Glad you could make it. What's the problem? The problem? Well... I found her! She's over here! As you can see, I'm being rather fervently pursued. And I was hoping beyond hope that you'd come to my rescue. <laughs> We fight. Come on, now! Let's do this. If you please. That's over with. Much obliged. I was on my way to Mogra when I found myself completely surrounded. I had nowhere else to turn. Can you explain what's going on? Once we're somewhere else, yes, of course I can. Shall we say, back at Mogra? Come now, let's be off. So wait, you're saying there was a freaking revolt at your office and you got muscled out? Not quite muscled out, per se. I stepped down of my own free will. 
Seems I stumbled upon some creative bookkeeping from one particular group within the company, and they didn't much care for the attention. It's a revolt, huh? You got any idea who might have called the shots? Sakaguchi, maybe? Our managing director. You've met him. Or don't you remember? He is rather easy to forget. Not much of a presence, that one. Oh yeah, that guy who came to pick you up. He seemed kind of tweaked out. Koma Sakaguchi. I've been keeping an eye on him myself. His name's right under yours on my list, Shion Kasugai. And if there's embezzlement going on, you can bet it's being funneled right into the organization. To think that little twerp would be in this deep, though. The group that was chasing me earlier were all Sakaguchi's people. I ask you, is it really such a threat for little old me to be wandering the streets of Akihabara? Sadly, I wasn't able to find out anything about the Synthester's drugs. Perhaps they're one of Sakaguchi's pet projects he doesn't like to talk about. So what will you do now, Miss Kasugai? Well, fortunately I've been receiving offers from numerous colleges and research labs. So I have options to mull over for my future at the very least. Of course, that's after we sort out this whole Synthester mess. And until we do sort it out, I'd very much like to be a part of your group. I'm deeply curious to see how far the Synthester's influence has spread. And while we're finding that out, I may be able to help you in some small way. So you... want to join the Freedom Fighters? Don't tell me I don't meet your requirements. I have a certificate of residence from Chiyoda City if it helps with the paperwork. Nah, scraps of paper don't mean a thing here. All you need to join us is a love for Akiba deep in your heart. Well, in that case, I'm perfectly qualified. Even if I don't quite look the part. She is here pretty much all the time lately. I don't see any problem letting her join, do you? Hey, why the hell not? Welcome aboard. Now that you're one of us, what do you say we drop the formalities and just call you Shion? That would be lovely. Thank you. All right, we're one stronger now, so let's get back out there and do some damage! Man, first Rin, now Shion. The Freedom Fighters keep growing and growing. Oh, hey, are we gonna throw a welcome party for the new people? I'll have to decline on that. Yes, with things as they are, I don't think it would be appropriate. I believe I'll put in for an extended stay at a nearby hotel for the time being. Ooh, that sounds so nice. I'd love to live in a hotel for a while sometime. Didn't you once tell me you can only sleep on Japanese futons, though? The hotels around here are all Western style with beds. Oh, yeah. Probably wouldn't be able to get any rest at all in that case. Speaking of rest, you were a bit unsteady when last we fought those enhanced synthesters. Has your condition improved since then? Your body still needs calories. Don't forget to replenish them after a battle. If you should experience any further discomfort, please be sure to let me know right away. Also, I'm sorry to ask this at such a time, but... I... I have some shopping to do, and I'd like you to accompany me. Well, see, I... I'm looking to buy a... figurine. And Kaito said you were the expert on that. It's... well, it's Lily Omi from Striprism. And I want it badly. There's a perfect spot for it in my room. what it takes? So, I suppose we should start by heading into Electric Town? The one I'm looking for is pre-transformation, wearing her elementary school backpack. It 
it's that old? Do you think the stores might be sold out of it? How many do you think we'll need to check? Nothing. Not here either. No luck. <sighs> there it is! One-eighth scale Lily Omi, schoolgirl model. It's even prettier than the pictures made it out to be. <laughs> okay, I'm going to buy it. Hold it right there! That out-of-print figurine is mine! Hand it over! You want one of your own, you can go find it someplace else! But we got to it first! What, you gonna fight for it? I could never hand Lily Omi over to violent brutes like you! With the melody of purest water, I, Saphrism, shall punish you! You! Fight. You! Let's go! Now! Let's do this! If you please! shall forever safeguard Akiba's prosperity. Thank you for helping me search for my figurine. It was quite enjoyable. Like hunting for buried treasure. I'm sure it stays like this, that the people passing through these streets hold dearest in their hearts. I hope you'll help me look for treasure again in the future. But right now, I think we should return to Mogra. Oh, it looks like Xian's been trying to get a hold of me. She wants me to meet up with her. Please, go on ahead. I'll be back in a little while. again. I hope you're okay. He looks okay to me. I'm guessing he and Shizuku cleaned house out there. Mm. What's wrong? You're making a very troubled face, Rin. It's that woman. Shion Kasugai. What? Are you still hung up on her? She hasn't given me a reason to trust her yet, so yes. But we know now she has no connection to the organization. Sure, assuming we believe every word she says. How do we know she didn't set the whole thing up to come at us from the inside? What do you think? Do you have any survival instincts at all? Honestly. Now that you mention it, wasn't Miss Kasugai just here? 
I wonder where she disappeared to. Oh, Shion left a little while ago. Said she was gonna go meet up with Shizuku somewhere. What? What's she gonna do, kidnap her? Then what? What's her plan? We can't just sit around here while Sis could be in trouble. Come on, Minion, we're going after her. All right, please get in. So if I do this for you, you swear you'll... You have my promise already. Just please keep it our little secret. Understood. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hold it right there! Finally caught you red-handed, Shion Kasugai! What are you plotting? Where are you taking my sister? Excuse me? Rin, this isn't... Sis, get away, now! No, Rin, this is not what you... What's going on? Save your breath. Minion, get her! Are you sure about this? Because I have no idea what's going on. Let's do this. Give me that back. Go. Hold him down, minion! Hey, hey, which do you think you're looking? Pervert! You better start praying! Alright! Spinning forever! to tear my clothes off, you know. Come on, Shion Kasugai. Time for your confession. You've been lying from the start, haven't you? You fooled everybody else, but not me. Rin, I've been trying to tell you it's not what you think. Hmm? <sighs> good, good. You explain it, Shizuku. Rin, listen to your sister. And would somebody please give me back my clothes? Certainly. So, Rin, Miss Kasugai was not threatening me. She had no wish to harm any one of us. She simply wanted to give me a medical examination. A... Uh, medical examination? That's right. And not even an invasive one. No physical risks whatsoever. I was going to read her height, weight, blood pressure, eyesight, and so forth. Nothing more. It would teach us more about the differences between night eaters and regular humans. So, that's it? That's all? But, when Sis was about to get into that car, she looked... kind of fidgety. And you were asking her to keep quiet about something. Well, she was going to... See, there's a rare... It's something from SP. Huh? You're not making any sense, sis. S 
Striprism. The best hits collection CD. Uh... She found a copy of it and was going to give it to me in exchange for the medical exam. Sis, the last time someone here agreed to that, they strapped him down and turned him into a synthester. Besides, why all this secrecy, Kasugai? Why'd you have to bribe her behind our backs? I'm sorry if you saw it that way. I certainly didn't mean to shake your trust in me. And the CD was meant as a thank you, not a bribe. But... we still don't know the whole story! Rin, apologize to Miss Kasugai right this minute! Ugh. I'm... sorry, Miss Kasugai. It's quite all right. Think nothing of it. You were simply concerned for your sister, and that's nothing to apologize for. I'll reschedule the exam for another day. All right. And I'd like to accompany you back to Mogra. I have a certain proposal to tender regarding our battle plan from here on out. You'll be going back as well, I trust? Come on, then. There's no time to lose. Okay, so what's this about a proposal? Sorry to call you all together so soon after joining the team, but this is regarding the connection between the organization and Daishi Han Pharmaceuticals, so I figured you wouldn't mind. I've deduced that Daishi Han is funding the organization and receiving some form of compensation in return. If I had to guess, I'd say the Synthester's unique biological properties are being used to create an experimental medicine or vaccine or some other such thing. And if we're to expose the truth, I think we'd best do it sooner rather than later. Do you have any thoughts on how to accomplish that, though? I do. That's the main reason I've called you here. I'm certain that Sakaguchi, uh, the managing director from before, must be searching high and low for me right now. Presumably because, well, if what's occurring in Akihabara were to become public knowledge, and especially if the Synthesters were to come to light, it wouldn't bode well for his best laid plans. So basically, you're too much of a threat to be allowed to run free. Exactly, and that's where my proposal comes in. I'll serve as bait, leading Sakaguchi right into our hands. If we can pin him down, it should halt the enemy's plans for a bit. The old bait and switch, huh? You really think it's gonna work? It could be dangerous, Miss Kasugai. You shouldn't try it on your own. Let me go with you. I'm a target too, aren't I? Sakaguchi knows I've been snooping around. If he finds out his two biggest threats are out in the open together, he'll show up for sure. Oh, yeah. I guess Daishihan would still be after you, too, huh? I'll start flipping that there's going to be a street concert. And Miss Kasugai, as long as the concert's going on, you can talk to Sakaguchi all you want. Even Daishihan wouldn't start a fight in the middle of a huge crowd. Plus, with two separate targets instead of just one, We'll each only take half the risk. Of course not. I've learned a thing or two from my dear sister over the years, after all. Hmm. So what do you think? Have we got a plan or what? No objections here. And thanks for the support. And forgive me for burdening you with my problems, Rin. No, I should be the one to apologize. Okay, okay, let's not get into apology wars here. You both feel guilty. We get it. Friends give and take and all that junk. And we're all friends here, so let's just move on. That's right! One for all and L for one! What a strangely specific error. 
I'll serve as your escort then, Xi'an. Would you care to join us? You are always so very eager! Anyway, I'm clipping right now that I've decided to stage an impromptu street concert in front of Akihabara Station. Alright, I'll see if I can arrange a rendezvous with Sakaguchi at the stairs to UD+. If he comes, are you gonna... What, citizens arrest him and turn him over to the police? Oh, I doubt I'll need to go that far. Sakaguchi is a weak-willed coward. All I have to do is start asking him questions about his connection to the organization. That should shake him up enough to slow their operation. So you're just gonna tell him what you know and what you're capable of doing with that info, and let his own panic take care of the rest. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead to the rendezvous point in the plaza at the Electric Town exit. Gotcha. Let's get this little espionage plan of ours underway. It's almost time. Look, there he is. If you would, please take cover over there and wait for your cue. Understood. Well, well. It's good to see you again, Ms. President. Or should I say, Ms. Former President. With Rin performing just across the way, I take it you two are in on this together? I wouldn't be surprised if you're the one who sent her after me, since you seem to be such good friends now. Oh no, nothing of the sort. Rin didn't trust me either at first. Oh, I see. At any rate, I'm certain you have a mountain of work waiting for you, so I'll get right to the point. I want you to sever your ties with the organization. Bringing Synthesters into the business arena is... Well, nothing short of reckless endangerment, to put it kindly. So, that's your angle then. I'll be sure to take your recommendation under serious advisement. Though it's unlikely anyone will give it any real consideration. You are, after all, no longer the CEO of our company. You're not associated with us at all anymore, in fact. And I don't recall us ever taking advice on company policy from the general public before. I suppose not. Well, if I'm nothing more than a member of the general public in your eyes now, why not simply let me live my life in peace? <laughs> if we do that, what guarantee do we have that you won't go spreading baseless rumors about us? Hmm? As soon as this little show is over, I'd like you and Rin to come with me. Oh? Kidnapping and confinement are both rather serious crimes, you know. It'd be completely voluntary, I assure you. And you have my personal guarantee that you'll be treated with all due respect. Though, if you happen to decline, I will have to give my associates a chance to persuade you. <laughs> so, you're asking nicely, but we either go quietly or kicking and screaming. We always used to say you didn't have the spine to be a director. But it seems you've grown one after all. Hmm. All right, then. Take this woman to the location we discussed. Yes, sir. So, you brought backup after all. Well, no matter. Take them all down. <laughs> If 
you please. To violence. Just as I thought. You can't possibly have any say in all this shady business. Too much heavy lifting for a lackey like you. Sh shady? What nerve! I'll have you know the synthesis somatic cells display properties that could be used to treat otherwise incurable illnesses and, um, well, suffice it to say, my research could save countless lives. Furthering medical science is a valiant goal indeed. But you never truly cared about that, did you? You only wanted fame and fortune, no matter what you had to do to achieve it. You were studying them too? Are you going to stand there and tell me you weren't planning on profiting from them yourself? I'll tell you more than that. I only studied them because I wanted to know more about them. Pure intellectual curiosity. And I would never ever sacrifice other people to satisfy that curiosity. That's unconscionable. Besides which, I'm a member of the Akiba Freedom Fighters now. My first priority is to protect this town. Research comes later. Damn it, this isn't over! You haven't won, you hear me? I've, I've still got the organization behind me 100%! Behind you? Oh dear. I certainly hope you weren't counting on that. Soga! Mr. Kagatsuki, sir! Please, I beg of you, save me! You're a disgrace. Get your filthy hands off of me. <laughs> I no longer have any use for the likes of you. Wait! No! <laughs> Think of all the funding we've provided! We... we gave you your base of operations! And we proposed the plan to give the synthesis performance enhancers! Well, I proposed that plan! Me! And what has it achieved? What did I instruct you to do? You had one job. To remove our only obstacles. And you failed. <sighs> the final preparations have been completed. Be gone. Get out of my sight. I want to know why you're doing this. Why corrupt Akiba? What do you hope to accomplish by releasing Synthesters into the town? The Synthesters are merely the groundwork for a much larger plan. My ultimate goal is the town itself. I intend to turn Akiba into a perfect dark utopia. <laughs> I've been using the Synthesters all this time to gather life energy, so I can create that dark utopia and turn Akihabara itself into a machine that gathers even more. 
Once I've done that, I'll be able to gather life energy from all over Japan. Nay, from all over the world. And then the Night Eaters will finally take their rightful place. Our people will rise from the brink of extinction to the heights of glory. I can't let you do that. I won't let that happen. No matter what. Don't be so hasty, Shizuku. It seems you haven't noticed the changes your partner is going through. Otherwise, I doubt you'd be so quick to stand against me. What? <gasps> Are you all right? Oh dear, he's burning up. My dark utopia is becoming a reality, and it's already taken quite a toll on that poor boy's body. <gasps> Soga, please, you need to put a stop to this right now. Oh no. I will see it through to its conclusion. This town's end shall be its new beginning, bearing witness to the dawn of a new era. An era in which we Night Eaters finally receive our due. May we never meet again. <laughs> Soga! All we wanted to do was lure out Sakaguchi. Now here we are with more than we bargained for. But... a dark utopia? Can you walk? I suggest we fall back to Mogra. Would you lend him a shoulder as well, Shizuku? Of course. His fever. It's still not breaking. So much for standard medicine. What could have brought this on? If his condition was deteriorating this much, why didn't he say anything about it? <laughs> Brother, hang in there. This is terrible. His pep was his only redeeming feature. It'll be okay. He'll get better soon. I know he will. <laughs> you were just pushing yourself too hard. Wasn't just him. We all kept on pushing him. Put all our faith in him like he was some kind of RPG hero or something. Expected the world of the poor boy. Synthester, Night Eater, whatever he is now. At some point we all forgot he's just a regular high school kid too. What he is is an idiot. A colossal freaking idiot. Letting himself get beat down like a lowly minion. <sighs> S something terrible is happening! People are collapsing one after the other all around Akihabara Station! Wait, what? I don't know the reason! People are just falling down when they get near the station! Even the police officers investigating are affected! Confirmed. Pitter is lighting up with reports of it. It's all anyone's talking about right now. You don't think. Soga's dark utopia. That crazy plan of his is actually happening? The people who've collapsed are being drained of their life energy. But why Akihabara Station? There's nothing particularly notable about that area. If only we knew where their hideout was, we could bust in there and beat some sense into that jackass. Their hideout? Of course! That could be it! That could be the place! You figured out where they're hiding? When we were studying the pattern of attacks before, I thought it seemed like the circle was a little off-center from Akihabara Station. So where the hell is it already? Just southwest of there. The construction site for the new Radio Kaikon building. <sighs> the Radio Kaikon building? But how do you... Now that you mention it, the building's all tarped up and there aren't a lot of people who've seen what's inside. It's worth a look, that's for sure. I can feel it too. I can feel the radio waves cutting through me. Rune and I will go investigate. The coming battle is between Night Eater and Night Eater. 
Rin and I should go by ourselves. And before the rest of you volunteer, remember, ordinary humans can't get anywhere near the station. <sighs> It'll be all right. Don't worry. Yeah, what she said. But are you too sure you can fight him, considering his motives? Uh, he's sacrificing one race to save another. And yeah, you know what? Maybe it's in our nature to fight for survival. Sure it is. But he's hurting innocent victims to try and force our people into his idea of a future. There's nothing natural about that, and I'm not gonna let it happen. No way! Rin... I know what Big Brother's going for. I do. He thinks our future's on his shoulders. Hell, maybe he's right about that. But this isn't the way. You're right. It's not. You better come back, you hear me? I don't want to lose any friends here. They'll be back. Got no doubts about that. There's still a lot to see and do here in Akiba, after all. I fiercely concur. Thank you, everyone. Okay. We're heading out. Take care of him while we're gone. And they're off! I hope we don't regret letting them go by themselves. We had no choice. We all know what would happen if any of us poor humans came within sight of the station. If we had joined them, we'd only have been in the way. Broke down. You shouldn't be up. Dude, you can barely stand. Don't try to be a hero. As you are now, you wouldn't be much help to her. If anything, you'd be a liability. I understand your feelings, but your body is in scrambles. Shambles. Sh shambles If you push yourself any harder, you might break! W what the uh, Look out! Ah! Is this it? Is this the nest of the rats who oppose Lord Kagetsuki? Synthesters. Damn it! In here? Kadi, take the sister and hide in the back room. Oh, okay. Please, stay calm and come with me. What are you standing around for? If you're going, go already. We'll handle the fighting. You really want to chase after Shizuku and Rin, now's your chance. Hiya! Barf! Whoa! Holy crap! Pops, you're way stronger than you look! Yes, if only we'd known that sooner, you could have joined the battle party! Nah, the old guard's supposed to train the heroes, not show them up. Come on, you know how it works. Damn! Alright, have it your way! Don't you dare underestimate me just because I'm a woman! Yeah! Sight! He's right, you know. If you're so dead set on this, you should go now and come back alive with the Tokikaze sisters in tow. Go! Go and become a part of Akiba Legend! Good luck! Frozen one, I believe in you. You're in such a weak state, and yet... Why are you here? I told you not to come. Seriously, we left you behind for a reason, you know. Still, it's very good to see you. I can feel Soga's presence, albeit faintly. There can be no doubt. The key to his plan is inside this building. 
You're probably right. So then, what exactly are we expecting to find here? A source of entropy and corruption. Beyond that specifically, we'll find out. If we eliminate the source, we eliminate the problem. But we need to hurry. Uh, sis? We've got company! You ain't setting one foot in there. Your journey ends here and now. And we're surrounded. With this many guards, you're definitely right. It has to be the source in there. We're going to have to fight our way through. Rin. Don't worry. I'll keep up. We fight. <laughs>
got him. Are you all right? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Reinforcements. A whole pack of them. Sis, I've got this. No, there are too many. Don't worry, I'm used to big crowds. And these guys look a little shabby. You go ahead and find Big Brother. And you, you need to go with her. If anything happens to Sis, I'm holding you personally responsible. You got that? Thank you, Rin. But please, don't get hurt. You're my dear sister, after all. My only sister. Sis... That's all I needed to hear. Those words alone will keep me safe, I promise. Go on. Now! Get in there and save this town. Well, my little sheeplings, it's your lucky day. You're just in time for my final encore. You better get that mosh pit ready. Is this the core of Soga's dark utopia? Well, well. I'm impressed you made it this far. Though you'll forgive me if I don't give you the warmest of welcomes. Soga, there's still time. Put a stop to this foolishness. Foolishness? Oh, Shizuku. Your lack of faith wounds me. This device, you see, ensures the continued survival of the Night Eater clan in perpetuity. Think of it like Noah's Ark. The output still needs some fine-tuning, but once we find just the right glorious frequency, all who come to Akihabara will find themselves drained of their energy before they even know what hit them. One gentle tug on each mortal body, and all those lifetimes worth of energy will be ours. If you do that, you'll only ensure that no one comes to Akiba anymore. The whole area will become a ghost town. Akiba a ghost town? I find that highly unlikely. As the greed and the passion are sucked from the marrow of its people, the town will swell with its majesty. Few will be able to avert their gaze. But why? Why Akiba? Why do you need to disrupt these people's lives? Because this town is perfectly suited to my needs. You see, Akihabara's particular brand of lust and desire is entirely unique. Unique? How? Theft, corruption, deception. These are wants which go against man's natural instincts. They are foul and disgusting. But here, here, those festering desires are ignored. And in their place is unadulterated lust. But a pure lust, new and untarnished. Here, pilgrims offer their devotion, laying down their livelihoods for animation, for games, for song makers. A new form of piety has flourished within these streets, in reverence to an entirely new sort of god. That's madness. No, it's the truth. And I can prove it. The energy I've collected from the people in this town has been inordinately fine and pure. These people have remained chaste in service to their view of the world. Akiba is utterly awash in unspoiled virginity. And their hymns of praise shall echo through the streets of my dark utopia forever. That is the purpose I have been given. Religious worship changes with the times. That's part of the natural order of things. But to hijack that worship, to force their beliefs to serve you? Can you claim any right to do that? Even for your people? If it's our fate to die out, then I accept that fate without regret. That is your prerogative. But I'm afraid we don't see eye to eye. 
And you and I are well past the point of debate. What about you, boy? Why do you oppose me? What reason could you possibly have for throwing your life away? It seems you are resolute in your convictions, but I have convictions of my own, and I will not compromise them, much as I'm certain you will not compromise yours. Therefore, show me the strength of your determination. Make me yield if you can, boy. Soga! I've got your back. <laughs> <laughs> You've improved, Shizaku. And here I always thought you hated conflict. Very well then. If this is to be the trial my people must overcome, then by my hand it shall be overcome. Ha! Soka, is this your true power? But how? You shouldn't have any power left. I need... To borrow just a little more strength from you. Thank you. Let's win this. For the future of this town. Come on. Now! Let's do this! If you please, Shizuku. Did we do it? No. This can't be. I've been taken down by raw power. Perhaps it's my fate to be ousted by a superior force. So good. Is this the end? Our future. The bright future I saw for us will never come to pass. Can you accept that, Shizaku? That we Night Eaters must once again return to the darkest of dark nights. I may not have to, because there's no reason for us to lurk in the darkness anymore. This town will accept us for who we are, even if it takes a while. I'm certain that in time, everyone will come around. Just like you did. I see. I see the optimism of youth. But now, there is only one path our people can follow now.
And that path leads into the abyss. I suppose this is to be our last meeting. Soka. Tell me, boy, what is it you like best about this town? Well said. This is goodbye, Shizuko. I'm sorry. Give my apologies to Rin as well. Brother, if you wanted to change our fate, there must have been other ways to do it. <laughs> oh, has your condition improved? So this machine was the cause of your sickness after all. I'm glad you're safe now. Thank you for lending me your strength when I needed it most. I'm glad to have chosen you as my familiar. Wow, that's very kind, but it's making me blush a bit. At any rate, the town is now officially saved. Come on, let's go back. Back to the others. Hard to believe it's been a whole week since that Dark Utopia mess. Time passed so quickly! But doesn't it strike you as kind of weird? I mean, we're talking about this huge incident with all these people involved, but the news has already just forgotten about it. Like there hasn't been a peep lately. Well, to be fair, they can only repeat cause still unknown so many times, can't they? Beyond that, it seems no one has anything left to say. Not even Daishihan Pharmaceuticals? You'd think they'd be taking some heat for this at least. <laughs> Maybe they are, but that's not my problem anymore now, is it? Eh, don't matter none to me anyway. Everything's wrapped up and back to normal and that's good enough in my book. Don't seem like nobody died in the whole Synthesir hullabaloo neither. At least, I ain't heard about it if anybody did. Tons of people hospitalized after getting their energy sucked out though. Supposedly, all the synthesters who burned up in the sun turned back into humans and were found collapsed on the street, believe it or not. They're in tremendous pain and have to go through rehabilitation before they can rejoin society at large, but, well, that's the price you pay, I suppose. As long as Protector is good, that's all that matters. So everything's more or less okay in Akiba, but what about you Night Eaters? Our people used to be worshipped as Earth deities feeding off the piety of our loyal subjects. But these days, the nights have grown a bit less dark, and nature has become a bit less threatening. Our hearts used to beat to the people's prayers, but now those prayers are silent, and our powers fade. Is it that lack of piety that's keeping you from having children? Is there just not enough life energy for the task? Is that? Why you're dying out? Soga thought he could take the desires of Akiba's people and harness them into a new kind of piety to replace what we had before. And he was doing it for us. All of the Night Eaters. Myself and Rin as well. He was doing it to give us a future. <laughs> to give your whole race a future. I think I would have gone to those extremes for my brother too. If I had to. Because if anything ever happened to him, it would be troubling. Very troubling indeed. But since his Dark Utopia plan failed, doesn't that mean you guys are back to square one? If it's our fate to fall in ruin, I'll accept it. Sis! But until then, I'm going to go back home and hold funerary rites for our brother, together with my people. You don't need to come, nor do you need to concern yourself with the duties of a familiar any longer. Come on, sis. Won't you consider staying in Akiba instead? Do you 
feel obligated to go. My mind is made up. The fact of the matter is, my people caused a tremendous amount of trouble for this town. And someone needs to answer for that. Sis. I'll be leaving tomorrow. What? That soon? And I need to prepare for the trip. So if you'll please excuse me. I wonder if Shizuku will really go back home. The way she was talking, it sure sounds like it. Won't be the same around here without her. You're staying at least, right, Rin? I mean, if you leave too, things are just going to be way too depressing around here. Don't worry. I'll be sticking around in Akiba for at least a little while. There are still shows for me to headline after all. Though, I do wish Sis would stay here with me. Tomorrow we'll say our goodbyes to Shizuku here at Mogra. And then, I think you should walk her to the station. What? How come? Why don't we all get to go? Kaito, you are not very good at reading the mood. I believe Yuto has the right idea. Shizuku's final moments here should be spent alone with him. Oh, now I get it. Thank you all for everything. I can't believe you're really going. I never know what to say in situations like this. If you should ever have any trouble, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be here for you. Let's watch Strip Prism SDX next time! I'll leave the upstairs room just the way it is, in case you ever want to come back. Oh, sis, you know I'm not great with goodbyes. But I'll come visit for the Obon Festival, and for New Year's. We'll see you off here, but he is going to carry your bags to the station for you. You can work him to the bone if you have to. He is your familiar after all. Thank you again, everyone. The days I spent here with you will always be at the forefront of my memories. I promise, I'll never forget any of you. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me. Farewell. Thank you for helping me with my things. I hate leaving all this activity behind. At first, I found it noisy and irritating in this town, but I've come to regard this bustle as proof of the many wonderful interactions people are having here every day. It's like the sound of Akiba breathing. Maybe it was unfair of me to let you help me with my bags. I'm betting you came along with the sole intention of trying to stop me from leaving. You may have even anticipated it working. Figured you'd convince me not to go back home. Well, to be honest, I don't want to go. But our people have caused so much trouble for you humans. And moreover, I cost my entire race their only hope. I certainly don't approve of Soga's methods, but they would have worked if I hadn't intervened. Regardless of anything else, it's my fault that his plan failed. And as a Night Eater, I have to answer for that. Me? Change? No, I... It's not our way to strike off on our own. I just... I can't forgive myself for what I did to you. I stole something very important from you. The ability to feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Whatever power or longevity I gave you in return, it's a poor trade. I made you... Inhuman. <laughs> I can't ever ask for forgiveness. Not from the Night Eaters, not from Soga, and certainly not from you. But I... I want to live in this town. 
This is where I want to be, with all the people I hold dear. Moreover, I want to try to find another way, another means by which we Night Eaters can have a future. You are the sun in my sky, but while the light of the sun burns my body, you, you burn my heart. I love you. I never want to leave your sight again. It's all right. You don't need to say a word. I can tell how you feel from the rhythm of your heartbeat. Let's be together. And let's bear witness to it together. Whatever the future has in store for Akihabara.